Welcome back to another one. 30 day challenge continuing strong. Today we're talking about a slip bobber live minnow rig. You can use this year round, but if you ever have a tough bite, and if it happens to be in the fall, this is a great setup. Now you're gonna fish this a little bit deeper in the fall uh, than you are in the summertime. So there's a few different rigs you can actually tie on. For slip bobbers, this is just a straight up uh, Aberdeen hook split shot rig. And then you're obviously, you got your slip bobber here with a, a bobber stop. Whenever I'm doing a, a live minnow rig, I'm tying a snell knot. So snell knot's pretty simple. You're gonna take the line, you're gonna put it through the eyelet, the opposite way of the point of the hook. Okay, so the point of the hook is over here. I'm taking the tag line and bring it the other way. I'm gonna pull out like four to five inches. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch that line just as the, the hook starts to bend. You're gonna pinch it together with the shaft of the hook. You're gonna take that tag end and then you're gonna wrap around both the uh, shaft of the hook and that line that you have pinched. And you wrap it four or five times. Now I'm gonna pinch all that wrap line together. And if you notice, there's a loop right on the bend of the hook there that we created from all this wrapping. I'm gonna take the tag end and bring it right back through that loop. I'm gonna slowly pull the line tight. You wanna keep those loops that you wrapped around the shaft of the hook below the eyelet of the hook. So you kind of pull it together and then it just slides up right beneath the eyelet of the hook. And there you go. When you put your split shot on, Pinch it, pinch it on the line. Typically like six to eight inches above the hook is pretty general. If it's a super aggressive bite, this allows that minnow to run and trigger a bite. If it's either a quick strike or there's, it's a negative bite where these fish, maybe they grab the minnow and start rising up the water column or they're just grabbing it, popping it and letting it go real quick. You wanna put that split shot either just above the hook like an inch or two above the hook or if it's a super negative bite you put it all the way right on top of the eyelet because when a fish grabs it and tries to run up the water column with it that bobber you got this guy what it's going to do when that fish grabs it and runs up the line or runs up the water column it's going to go sideways and that's a negative bite there's another rig that you can actually use a barrel swivel this six pound mono straight mono is primarily for crappie bluegill setup um, I fished in Arkansas with uh, Kyle Lasseter. He's the videographer for ACC Crappie Sticks. He loves to fish with braid line for his slip bobber rigs. And I know there's a lot of people that have commented in past videos like, how do you set up a slip bobber rig with braided line? Um, this one right now is actually set up for walleye fishing. I'm using 10 pound braid to a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, when you're using braided line, you're probably gonna use a little bit bigger of a reel. Again, this is the eight foot ACC, but I'm using the uh, 2000 size uh, Honor XT reel. And uh, here's how the braid line is set up. Some people can just tie straight braid to fluorocarbon. I actually just have a small little barrel swivel here. That red bead on top, that's actually a rubber bobber stop, pinning my bullet weight to just above my barrel swivel. All right, and then I, I attach my eight pound fluorocarbon to that. Um, I'm using a size number one Aberdeen hook for this. Again, this is more of a multi-species. I'm gonna hook up, you know, chubs or even possibly a sucker minnow on this. Uh, this is your bass walleye setup. And then because you're using braided line, uh, you need to have something with a large uh, opening, a large grommet, and preferably a metal grommet like this. This is a wobble bobber. It's made by Thill. Cool thing about these wobble bobbers. A cool thing about these wobble bobbers it says the weight that you're supposed to use right on the bobber. Pretty cool little setup. But the most important thing about this when you're using braid, see that metal grommet right there? One, it's a large hole, and two, it's a metal grommet, so it's not plastic, it's not gonna tear up your braided line um, if you do get some cuts in it. This is gonna be pretty sturdy. As you can see, I've, I've beat this one up. I've used this quite a bit. Um, but these are really good bobbers if you're using braided line. But having that bullet weight, a little bit heavier, quarter ounce, shoots that jig or live minnow rig down to those depths. Um, love using this setup. Eight foot, eight foot ACC, crappie sticks rod, 1000 size uh, PC Fun Viper X reel. You can also upgrade to the 2000 size if you love casting a lot more. I just typically pitch this away from the boat. Um, so 1000 size works for me. Six pound monofilament. And then these are the typical 
bobbers that I use. Yeah, rod and bobs, they're the three in one. No, it's not just a spring bobber. These are actually slip bobbers. They got a couple different notches I'll show you here. One notch, you can slide the bobber up and down the line. The other is a fixed position, locks it in. But uh, today we're gonna be using slip bobber and live minnows. Putting some crappie on the stringer because we're still, we still got the tiller. We're not in my boat anymore, or yet. Hopefully by the end of this week. By the time you probably see this video, hopefully I got my boat back and we can get back to uh, running 10 miles down the river, catch some crappie. So let's get into it, put some fish in the boat. Come on, buddy. Yep. There he is. There we go. Crappie number one on a live minnow. He is not going to keep, though. That's a small guy. There's just something about watching a slip flow go down. I don't care how old you are. It is amazing to watch. See you, buddy. Always got to check your slip stops. I'm basically going one and a half times my rod length. That's how I'm judging the depth of this slip. So I'm going to let out. Basically, this is an eight foot rod, so I'm gonna let out about eight feet of line, basically till that minnow touches the rear of my rod, the handle of my rod. And uh, I'm gonna put it down about, right about there. Yeah, a little higher. Cause that'll put me about 12-ish feet and we're about 16 feet of water. And these crappie will come up to, to get the minnow without question. Wish that bobber wasn't by, oh, there it is. You probably can see it now. Get the rod, oh. Wasn't paying attention. And he took it. There we go. Crappie number two, but it's another tiny one. We need some nine to 10 inch fish to eat. That's a baby. That's musky bait right there. Throw that on a big treble hook, musket chomp on that. I'm gonna throw a buoy out here. And that way I always know where I'm trying to cast at. Yep, that's gonna be on the back side. And now we can Man, this bobber stop is slipping. Let's reset our minnow setup. And get back oh. down there. Come on, fellas. Oh, there he is. He smacked it. I'm gonna try to reel through that bobber stop. Ooh. That was a no doubter hit. And you know what? He, he's borderline, but I mean, he's close to nine, so I'm going to keep him. There's no size limit on the lake. There's only a bag limit. So we're going to fry him up because I don't think I'm going to catch much bigger fish than this. This is one of those lakes that it's got a lot of crappie, but not a lot of big crappie. Well, there you go. Appreciate you watching the slip bobber rig. That's how you tie it on. It's a pretty simple setup um, and it's a great setup if you're having a tough bite this fall. So again, eight foot ACC, 1000 size Viper X spinning reel, rod and bobs three in one, six pound monofilament, and then your, just your number two Aberdeen hook with a split shot. Great setup. I'll leave everything or link everything down below. Uh, if you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this fall, and uh, more to come in the 30-day challenge. We'll see you in the next one.